Hey everyone, Team UDF here for some ZQuest tutorial Q&A. Today's question is how to make a puzzle in which Link must burn four things with the candle in order to open a path. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys one such puzzle in action. I've just gone ahead and thrown this together in my uh, in one of my quests. So let's go in this room, have some pesky Zoras. But if we burn these four torches, as you can see, only when all four of them are burned does this pathway open. And now we have access to this terribly built room for the purpose of this tutorial. Uh, this uses what I call a tiered puzzle. I don't think that's an actual formal term. I just call them that. I define a tiered puzzle as a puzzle using two or more secrets or triggers on the same screen in order to solve a room. They don't have to be the same kind of trigger, however. Let's look at a basic two-step one. We have these statues in here looking very suspiciously, as do we have this candle here. Well, we have the candle in our inventory, but if we use it to burn this torch, rather... As you can see, the statue has now changed color. But nothing else has really happened in the room. Let's slash the statue. Ah! Now it's spinning, and we have this treasure chest here. So if we open the treasure chest, Link will get 139 rupees. So that's an example of a tiered puzzle that uses only two triggers, but they're different kinds of triggers. You can do either such case in your game, and you can use them for many different things, open shutter doors, make treasure appear, whatever kinds of uh, puzzles and secrets you guys can create in your own game. But what I want to do, actually, is I want to jump into ZQuest here, and actually show you guys how these are set up, and then I'm going to show you guys how to build the four-step one from scratch. I'm going to make a bit of a disclaimer first, though. I'm actually in the 2.5 editor, mainly because I hate 2.10 right now. However, Everything I'm going to show you guys is completely viable and possible in 2.10 or 2.10, whichever you guys want to call it. So let's go ahead and take a look at this first room, the two-step one. For this two-step one, let's go ahead and hit the F key to see what kind of flags are in this room. We have a burn flag, that's flag 4 on this torch, of course, because we want it to be able to burn and light up. However, we have two secret tiles uh, triggers on these two statues over here, 16 and 18 respectively. I didn't pick those for any particular reason, they just happen to be what I did. So if I go to F5 here, my secret combos, I check out, I needed to set up my, my candle triggers here so that when you burn something, this is the tile that'll appear. So once I burn that torch, it's going to turn into the same tile, no matter whether I use the blue candle, red candle, bonfire, or dins fire. Now my miscellaneous here, and I'll show you guys what that was in just a bit, I have the middle statue set on flag eight, or, uh, yeah, flag 18, right? So it's that middle statue. It's going to turn into this one when that burn trigger is activated. Now, notice that this bottom statue here had flag 16 on it. However, at the same time, in my secret combos, I have flag 16 as an exact copy of that statue. This is because this, I'm going to build the tier here. This is only the first step in the puzzle, so I don't want to skip right to the treasure chest. I want it to turn into an identical tile first. So this gives off the illusion that nothing has really happened on your screen. Besides the, the torch making the... Besides the torch lighting, rather. So at this point, Link has completed one step of the puzzle. He's burned the torch, and now we have the room uh, set up with this middle statue being changed to a kind of golden color, and the torch is lit. Now how the game knows that Link needs to slash this particular statue, is I'm going to hit the F key here, and this shows the inherent flags on all of my secret tiles right here. An inherent flag is automatically on a tile, you don't have to set one up personally on the screen. This is very handy for tiered puzzle and puzzles and just a lot of easier things as well. So 79 is the sword trigger. If we go to our, if we were to go to our flag list here, it is somewhere. I usually just hit F8, but I think F8 is a hot key on Camtasia, so I don't want to do anything. And there it is. So 79 is the sword trigger. That means any level sword will trigger that secret. Now, if I head back to my secret combos here, the secret it's going to trigger has to be found in the sword uh, tab here. So when I strike the statue with my sword, no matter what level sword it is, it's going to create the same tile, and this is the, well, combo, I guess. But this is the same combo on all of them, it just makes that spinning statue motion. So that part's done. 
Now, you'll notice I have an inherent flag of 17 on the statue that's facing up. That was the statue down here on the bottom right. So the first step is kind of a decoy step, nothing really happens to the statue. However, the second time, now, the statue has turned into a statue with the inherent flag 17. That means if another secret is activated, it's going to turn into tile, into secret tile 17. And what is secret tile 17? It is this treasure chest. And the treasure chest just has inherent flag 10 on it because that is how we open treasure chests in 2.5. As well as 2.10 if you still use the slashing motion trick. Okay, so let's watch the room in action again, but this time let's use 2.5's nifty preview feature. If you hit the X button, you go into preview mode. And now to solve the screen, hit the S key. So I'm going to solve it. So this is what would happen if Link were to burn the torch. So the torch is lit, and the statue turns golden. And if we hit the F key, we can see that this statue has an inherent flag of 79 on it, so the next step is for Link to hit it with the sword. As will this statue turn into the treasure chest if Link does hit the statue. So I'm going to hit S again to solve the room. Now the statue's changed into its spinny form, and we have the treasure chest with the inherent flag of 10 on it. What I did forget to show you though is the original room. So if I hit R, it'll restore the room to its original state. Hit F to see that I do have that candle burning trigger on this torch here, and I have the statue set up for secret tile 18. So when I solve it, it changes, solve it, changes again, there's our treasure chest with the money in it. I would just have to set the the room type to special item, and my 139 rupees there. Okay, so now we're going to build the four step one from scratch. Let's head on over to this dummy room I've made here. It has the shutter doors that were requested in this question, because the aim is to have Link open these shutter doors with this torch puzzle. And I'm going to hit the F key, but nothing's going to appear because, you know, there's no triggers on the screen yet. Unlike this one, which has many triggers on it. Okay. So for this one, the first step we need to do is we need to set up, of course, our secret combos. So let's set up the burn trigger, which is our most important. So go ahead and scroll down and find your, find your lit torch for whatever tile set you may be using. And there we go. Have them all set up. So now, if I were to put a burn trigger on the screen, Oh, right. Four. I'm going to put it on the top left one. If I were to go into preview mode and solve the screen, there it is. That torch is lit. Good to go. Okay. So now it's time for the best part. We're actually going to build the tier. Now, as a small disclaimer, there is more than one way to build the tier. And depending on your puzzle, there might actually be a shorter way. But I'm going to show you guys the method I figured out when I was first starting out and trying to mold together these kinds of multi-step puzzles myself. So what we're going to do is we're going to, the secret combos menu here is going to be our new best friend. We're going to go to miscellaneous because we're probably going to be using most of, if not all, of these 16 through 31 secret tiles. So first what we're going to contend with is the top right torch here. Right now we only have a flag 4 on here. Let's, let's get that 16 on there. The goal is to trigger the next level of the tier when this, when this torch is lit. So by lighting this torch, we're going to trigger the next level and have this torch be lightable. How we do that is we're going to change the top right torch to something that's burnable. So let's set flag 16. I'm going to find my torch here. It's not going to be a lit one. It's going to be kind of like that dummy move I mentioned in the other room. It's going to change into something identical. So let's set that up. There's 16. However, we're going to give it an inherent flag. Now how you do this is you got a control click. And you open this flag menu, it's the same flag menu as always. Let's select the burn trigger. And let's hit OK. Now this torch is going to change into another torch that is burnable because it has the burn trigger on it. Okay, so let's set flag 16 on that top right torch. Secret tile, 16. Okay. Let's look at the preview. Right now, if I burn this top left torch, it's got flag 4 on it, it'll change into the lit torch. Now, this has the burnable trigger on it, so if we burn again, now this is the lit torch. We're going to continue this pattern. 
So let's head back to our secret combos. Okay. Now we're going to start with flag 17 next. And we're going to make it yet another... Whoops. Yet another torch that is not burned. However, we're not going to make this burnable because it, then it would be burnable in the second step. We want it to be burnable in the third step. So we're going to... Instead of making it an inherent flag 4, we're going to make it an inherent flag 18. Why 18? Because 18 is the next secret tile. I'm just going to jump over... Whoops. Let's actually set it first. Jump over to my secret tile 18 and make it another torch that is burnable, however. So let's control click and make it burnable. So if I hit the F key, this is what we're looking at right now. Flag 16 is a burnable torch. Flag 17 is a torch that will turn into a burnable torch. And if I throw flag 17 on this torch right here. Yeah. So if I solve the screen, our first torch, it just lights up. The top right torch turns into a torch that can be lit. This bottom left torch turns into a torch which turns into another torch that can be lit. So now, you can kind of see where this is going. This one's not going to have two steps, it's going to have three. You may want to set your your string of tiles up in a different way. I typically use step method, what I call step, so like this first column here would have one step, this next column would have two steps, this next column would have three steps, so it kind of builds a staircase. But for the purpose of the tutorial, I'm just going straight left to right, so that we, we're going up in the flags one by one, 16, 17, 18. Now let's go to 19. So 19 is going to be what we put on the bottom right torch, and as you can guess, it's going to be a torch that turns into another torch. So let's control click and set it up to be 20. What's 20 going to be? 20 is going to be yet another torch that turns into another torch. So set it up 21. Control click. This is what we have so far. Flag 20, 21. Whoops. It's going to be a torch. Okay. Now, this one was one step. This one was two steps. This is one, two, three. So this is the torch we want to have the burn trigger on it. So this is what we should have right now. You'll notice we actually haven't made any secret tile torches that have been lit. The game will do all of that for us because we set our burn triggers. Okay, so we need flag 18, no, flag 19, rather, on this torch. And I just hit the hotkey, but nothing seems to have happened to Camtasia, so that's good news. Now I know I can hit F8. Okay, 19. Okay, let's test it out as it is. Preview mode. Solve the screen once. This torch is lit. This torch turned into something that's burnable. Solve it again. Well, actually, let's look at the, how it is right now. Okay, solve it again. It's burned. This torch turned into something that's burnable. This torch still turned into another torch. Okay, light it again. Now the only thing that's left is for this one to be lit. So if we do that, we've lit all four torches, we have exactly what we want for that part of the puzzle. Now, what do we do with the shutter doors? First of all, ask yourself this question. How many steps to the puzzle did we have total? Not the steps that we set up in here, but I mean the steps that Link would see when he walks into the room. He walks in, burns one torch, two torches, three torches, four torches. We have four steps to this tiered puzzle. The shutter door has how many tiles on it? It has one tile, two tiles. So we have four steps for two tiles. Multiply those together, we need eight more secret tiles. What we're going to do? Here we go. We're going to make them all going straight left to right. So the first one. Ask yourself, what is this left shutter door going to turn into? It's going to turn into itself three more times for the first three steps of the puzzle. Then for the fourth step, it's going to open. So let's set that up. And I actually don't remember off the top of my head what page I'm headed to. I hope it's 20. Definitely not. Maybe it's 35. No. It's 38. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my shutter door and I'm going to make it three more times. And the 38, I'm just going to make it the three times first. One, two... Three, and then my fourth one, it's going to be open. Four. 
How do we get it there? Let's do a bit of review. Do you remember how we get it there? This is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. This is 22. So 22 needs an inherent flag. It's going to turn... Basically, for the inherent flags, ask yourself, what is this going to turn into when the room is solved? What's going to happen when the puzzle's done, when the enemies are destroyed, whatever have you? So 22 is going to turn into 23. 23 will consequently turn into 24 when the next step of the puzzle is solved. 24 will turn into 25. 25 will finally turn into 26, which is where we can stop. Now let's repeat the same thing to the right side of the shutter. So we're going to need three of the same kind of shutter. It's going to be closed. See, look at this. You used nearly all of your secret tiles doing a four-step puzzle, so be careful how many steps of a puzzle you want to set up if you're doing this method, because you're going to use up your secret tiles pretty darn quickly. Okay. So this was 26. I was like, wait a minute, that doesn't need to be turned into 26. Okay, what does need to be turned, though, is see, so we're at 23, 24. Well, we're, we're one up, because this is what it's turning into. So this is 25, this is 26, so it needs to turn into 27. So set that up. 27, consequently, needs to turn into 28. 28 needs to turn into 29. Okay, 29 doesn't need to turn into anything, because it's done. So now, at long last, let's remember, so this is 25, and this is 29. So that's where we're going to end up. Where we need to start, though, is we need to start at 22, and then 26. We got kind of lucky having four steps, because we can just count down by fours. So 22, 26, I believe, are the tiles, or the, the secret tiles we want to set. Let's put 22 there, and let's put 26 there. Okay, one more time. Preview mode. Solve the room once. Torch lit. Twice. Torch lit. Three times. Torch lit. Four times. Torch lit. And there you go. There are your shutter doors. Let's save and look in game. And the matrix has taken over. Zelda. Oh. We have to reset. That's okay. Okay, so we're going to end up going through this room another time, but that's okay because now you can see both, uh, both puzzles in action. Okay, at this point, you might be asking yourself the question, does order matter in this puzzle? Well, clearly it does because, and yeah, there's that really terrible room buildup that I did, but it's just for this tutorial anyway. So, you may notice that it doesn't work if we start going this way because the game has no idea that these are burnable right now. So remember, when you're setting up puzzles like this, order does matter. So be sure that your player can access everything when you're doing this. So there, here we go. That is it. We can go through this door into what I actually believe is another dungeon. So, anyway, that's how we do it in Z and uh, Zelda Classic. Now, one other thing I want to show you in this, actually, before I leave Zelda Classic here, is I'm going to exit the room, come back in. Look at this. The first step still remains done. This is because uh, on certain kinds of triggers, especially Candle and Sword, uh, there are some others that are always permanent. However, the game doesn't make the whole thing permanent, it just makes the first step permanent. However, at the same time, you may remember when I started this video, and I came back down here, this was completely undone. That, that first torch over there isn't lit still. How is that going on? Well, that is happening because on my screen down here, within screen data, and I actually don't think this is possible in 2.10, I apologize if it is or isn't, really, either way, but in 2.5, under the Secrets tab here, we have a checkbox that says Secrets are Temporary. If you check that, the room will undo all of your secrets, even if you've completely solved the puzzle. So that's why this one did not turn back, but this one remained lit. Or this one, this one did turn back, actually, so never mind what I'm saying. But this one was completely, like it still had a piece of it solved. So if I wanted to fix that, I would just check the secrets or temporary box, give it a quick save, and there it goes. So unfortunately, if you're on 2.10, you may be out of luck. I haven't checked the 2.10 editor in quite a long time, so I'm not sure if it is there or is not. But in any case, oh, sneak peek of a strange room. That is how we do tiered puzzles, basically, even though it's... 
I don't know, it's not too bad, but you do have to get caught up in looking at exactly where do the secret combos go and everything, and actually I'm gonna... I'll show you the step method I was mentioning earlier. Except these, these lit ones don't need to be here. Uh, I've put those there, it's just kind of a reminder to myself. As you can see here, we have a, a nice steps... A nice step. It's nice steps of the burn triggers here, flag of four. And then my, my one step one jumps down to this trigger here. And then what I like about the step method is that every time I jump down a row, I just have to add four to the next uh, secret tile. So I go from 22 to 26, because the difference between those is four. Or I go from 23 to 27 to 31. And then 31, as you can see, is that final tile here. So if I solve this one, two, three, four times, those statues vanish, Link can pass by, and he has a good day because he doesn't have to fight those freaking Zoras. Uh, but yeah, that's really about it for tiered puzzles. I'm trying to remember what else I wanted. Ah, yes. Okay, if you're in 2.5 now, I do want to bring this up, but I don't have time to show it in this video right now. If you go to combo flags, scroll all the way down. If you head over here to flag 95, trigger implies self and secret tiles. The secret tiles will still change, and it also triggers itself. Okay, there is a different way you can do this, and it's a lot shorter, actually, by using this flag on some of your objects in the room. But like I said, I don't have time to show that, but that's just kind of a hint as to what you can do in 2.5, make it a lot shorter. Other than that, I'm about finished here, so thanks to everybody for watching. I will see you next time for more ZQuest tutorial slash guide slash Q&A session, because, I don't know, I think I'm going to be having fun doing the Q&A for right now. So, again... Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!